Okay everyone, here's the next step in this process of turning the flange on this deck lid. So I have previously transferred the exact edge of the inner skin down onto the deck lid and I've laid that out with tape just to help me get nice straight lines. So now that test panel we made where we had the inch and three quarter initial line turn the flange and then we wanted to, to measure from that line over we measured to the outside of the flange measured 0.483 now I want this flange to come up and meet up against the the inner skin so I need actually to go off of the the inside so I just deduct the thickness of the material which in this case is 0.039 so that gives me 0.044 inch and three quarter minus 0.444 is 1.306. That would meaning from this edge over to where I'm going to trim this needs to be 1.306. And if I if I trim that, make that accurate, when it flanges, it will turn that flange so that the inside edge will exactly touch the, ins the that outside edge of the, of the inner panel and that way they'll fit nice together. So I got my set of calipers set at 1.306. The easiest way I've found is to just make a little bit of a, of a scribe mark. Do that you know every half inch or so all the way around and then connect those dots with the tape so that way there again I can make sure that the tape is a nice straight looking line it's not varying and I can adjust and then that will allow me to scribe what on the edge of the of the tape and I can trim out the panel okay so now I've gone and made all my marks all the way around laid everything out with tape that way I make sure it's a nice clean line no waves or variance in it and now we're ready to Trim all the excess off right down to that tape line. Make sure it's nice and and uh, filed smooth and deburred, and we're ready to turn the flange in the flanger. So we got the panel all trimmed out, got the edges deburred and filed smooth. We're ready to turn the flange in the flanger. Now, because this type of panel has flanges on all four sides, when we get to the end of of one of these flanges, we're going to have to stop the machine and actually rotate the handle, lift the head up to get the part out to rotate it. Otherwise, you know, we would damage the other flange, especially if we start gumming up, you know, more and more towards 90. So, a little more of a process on this type of panel, but, uh, but that's why this machine has the capability to, to lift the head out uh, to get things out of the way. So let's go ahead and start turning the flange.
Okay, so now we flange this, not quite up 90. The, the issue of running into it is because such a tall flange. It's wanting to flatten the crown of the panel, which is kind of affecting wanting to leave a little bit of marks. Um, so what, what we'll do is we'll, we'll put it, this in the shrinker and, and, and get these curved. We don't need to exactly match them to what they need to be, but just to help contour the panel so it would be a little easier to feed back in the flanger for the last few steps. All right, so now we got a little curvature back in the panel. This should hopefully hold and help it feed back through the flanger a little easier for the last few steps. Okay, so here we have finished panel. I've run it through the, the shrinker to get the curvature right and get it fitting. You can see how clean, how consistent, how precise this is. We'll flip it over and stick the inner skin in and see how it fits. As you can see, it's fitting really nice all the way, all the way around. It's, it's, it's touching the fl that flange top needs to be worked down a little bit, just, just the angle of it, otherwise real, real nice tight fit, should be an accurate gap on the car.
Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions, just leave some comments below. If you haven't seen the first video in this series, go and check that out. It shows through the proper setup and uh, getting all the tolerances set up so we can turn a flange. So until next time, thanks.